my boyfriend. But he's my husband. Don't worry about it. I'll take care of it. What's happening, Ethan? Everything is taken care of. Just some sleep. Just some
Hello? Anyone there? Yes, Mom. I will be a little later than I thought, honey. Don't wait up for me. Okay, Mom. scared me. There's something happening here. Don't worry. I'll take care of it. I know. I can't believe this is happening to me. Don't, Don't worry. worry. I'll take, take care, care of it. There's something out here. There's... They tried to push me into the pool and... <laughs> they tried to kill me, and I don't know, I thought it was my imagination, <laughs> but up in my room, I don't know what's going on. Ethan, please help me. Don't worry, I'll take care of it.
hallucinations. I told everyone after her surgery she shouldn't strain herself. She's been working too hard for the last several weeks without rest. And this is the result. She needs good sound sleep. Earlier I stopped by to check on her, but she didn't even recognize me. She acted crazy. <laughs> Ethan, you scared me. There's something happening here. You should get some sleep now. Yes, I know. I can't believe this is happening to me. What are you talking about? There's someone out here, and they shoved me into the pool, and they slapped me, and they tried to kill me, and I don't know, I thought it was my imagination, but then up in my room, I don't know what's going on. Please help me, Ethan. I don't understand. She acted crazy. Well, it's not uncommon with hallucinations and sleep deprivation. She's exhausted. It would seem that Claire is uh, in her own world imagining these different events right now. She saw you. That was real. But in the distorted world of her mind right now, you, know, you were acting differently to her than in reality. She said there were weird things happening, and then she pushed me in the pool for no reason. <laughs> if I remember correctly, aren't you two rehearsing a murder mystery crime play of some kind? Yes. Well, that's most likely it then. She came home with the memories of the last few hours of rehearsal, which were haunting her mind. All right, so Megan, Claire, you just had that intense stare down. You're hateful towards each other. Come to the table, grab the knife, like that. Yeah. All right, guys, come on. Are you okay? You look really stressed. I'm okay. I'm gonna be okay. Okay. Alright, are you ready to go? Alrighty. Go for it. Hey, Jesse. Oh, yeah, so moment. You guys understand this, right? Yeah, yeah we're good. Alright, cool. She must be very tired. I mean, she, she looks exhausted. Yeah. She's pushing herself really hard. She's been running on very little sleep for about a week now for these rehearsals. She desperately wants to win the competition. Let me go check on her. Oh yeah, you, you do that, you do that. Great job, guys. Thanks. Don't worry about it. I'll take care of it. I'll meet up with you in a few hours. And as she was living through those memories, she began to believe that, that these strange things were actually happening. She was living through a kind of a shadow of life, a, a brain fog, if you will. Um, well, yeah. what's that curtain that they use in theater, kind of translucent on a stage? A, a, a scrim? Yes, that's it, a scrim screen. Uh, you know, blurring her mind and, and making everything appear different from reality. But what about me? Her mother, why can't she see or hear me? How was your day? You were up early this morning. I bet you're tired. Are you hungry? I can make you a snack. How about some fruit? So how is play practice? Claire. Where are you, Claire? Claire, where'd you go? You are. What are you doing? Claire? Huh. Hello? Okay, I'll be right there. Okay. 
Bye, Claire, honey. I'm going out. I'll see you later. Take care. Why can't she see or hear me? Well, in the world of her memories right now, you simply are not participating. But she called me and we talked. Uh, that was only a slight disturbance, which nudged her towards the present real world, but only momentarily. She needs rest. Let's just, let's go and leave her alone. Don't worry, she'll be all right. She just needs to get some good, sound sleep, wake up on her own. She'll be fine. But look, don't let her do this to herself again. Yeah.